you might find them lurking in the cabinets of estate sales. Are you ready to find out what it is? Um, this category, I will tell you, was a little bit tricky to, um, to research. It seems that people don't like to leave feedback on this item. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Okay, Bola Buddies, I just have to say you need to wait till the end of the video, okay? Because we have a little chat. <laughs> we have a little chat about this topic and it, to me, it just cracks me up. So stay tuned for that. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, this is a Bolo category video. What does that mean? It means I pick a category and I do a deep dive into that co category and I talk to you about it. I research on it. And I try to give you guys things to look, look for. And these items, you might find them lurking in the cabinets of estate sales. Are you ready to find out what it is? All right, let's get started. Um, this category, I will tell you, was a little bit tricky to, um, to research. It seems that people don't like to leave feedback on this item. So... I was inspired by Rachel Strickland to um, look for this item. And I actually found an item and I'm going to show you my item first. It's currently listed. And I will tell you, I did struggle with pictures a little bit. So give me a little bit of a break on this one. But here is my listing. And the brand is Martex. And from my research, this is a really great Bolo brand. But these are just beautiful they are reversible. Um, they're kind of sculpted and they've got kind of this fringe on the end. And here is the actual um, vintage tag or labeling here on the corner. Most of the vintage towels are marked with a label that kind of runs across the side from what I've seen. Now, these towels do have a little bit of issues. I did run them through the washing machine for the most part. Um, I would say for the age, they look really, really good. Um, but I mean, this side, this is on the back side. So if you flip that over a towel rack, you're not really going to see that. So it's like two washcloths. The washcloths are in a little bit, they're, they're not exactly the same size, which is a little bit weird. Um, so I don't know. Um, I, I don't think I'm going to get $70. I do have best offer. I thought I had my sale going right now, but for some reason it didn't grab this item. So I need to look into that. Um, I believe I have 35 or 38% going on right now. I also have a buy one, get one 25% off with coupon code BOLO coupon at checkout. So if anybody adds items to their cart, um, you can get that second item at a discount. And if you watch my channel, I have a coupon that you can put in at checkout BOLO buddies, and that gets you 20% off your entire order. So that's probably a better deal than my coupon here. All right. So let's look right here at Rachel Strickland's channel. Um, she is a Bolo finder and she is the one that brought up towels. And again, I found that towel set at um, a garage sale for $1. So I'm definitely gonna make some money on that. I just gotta find the right buyer. But um, the colors were incredible. Uh, here is the video that Rachel Strickland sent me. I'm gonna show you guys that first. Hey guys, I'm Rachel Strickland. I'm going to bring you a bolo today for an area of a thrift store estate sale, a uh, yard sale that you're probably walking right past. That is the vintage towels. Guys, I know this one is like a beautiful orange, like 1970s. And while all vintage bath towels do have like a place on, on eBay, turning it on the back is going to reveal to you guys like look out specifically for what they call a raised or sculpted pattern. And specifically look out for this brand. I'm going to show you the tag. This is the Canon. That might be backwards here because I'm using my phone for this, but this is called the Canon Monticello. Guys, these are minimum $20 a piece all day long. You can sell a set of five for a hundred bucks. And how much are you picking up bath towels for? Look at this. I just got this entire bag of bath towels from an estate for free. Check me out right here on YouTube, please. I am nearing 10,000 subscribers and I would love to have you as part of that party. I am Rachel Strickland here on YouTube and I hope to see you guys there. 
Okay, and now we're back at her channel and I just wanna show you some of her recent videos. Uh, she is incredible. She mixes it up. She does have some whatnot videos. If you guys are thinking about getting on whatnot, she really um, teaches you how to use that. So go sub up her channel. She is incredible. I will have her linked down below. But I went into her store because she recently picked up some uh, towels, vintage towels from, I believe it was a family member's estate. So here are the items that she currently has listed in her eBay store. Um, so they're kind of the sculpted. That's a great word. These are Canon. Canon is another brand that I kept seeing over and over that was going for really good money. And we're going to go into some other listings, uh, just like my other category videos. And I'm going to show you some of the listings that I found and other brands to be on the lookout for. But these are Rachel's listings. So if any of those interest you, you can uh, check out her eBay store. And here are the ones that she has sold. So this set of three, Canon Monte, Monticello, Santa Cruz bath towel. So this is a set of three right here. So they're really, really pretty towels. Okay. So when I do my Bolo category videos, I try to do research so that I'm not giving you guys bad information. Okay. So the first one I saw right here that I wanted to look at was this bath mat. I'm like, oh, wow, it's a bath mat. $299.99 with a slash through it. I'm like, I'm going to look into this. I know that you can go over to Terapeak. I learned this from the Rebel Reseller and I copied the title. When I went into Terapeak, I put that title in and you guys, they took a best offer of $25 on this. So when you are searching sold comps, please be careful because that is pretty deceiving. Um, thinking that most people that list something at $299 are not going to sell it for $25. So just be careful. Okay. That's why when I do these category research style videos, I try to do as much homework as I can so that I'm giving you guys good information. And I know the Rebel Reseller does that too um, on her category videos. What she does is uh, plush videos. Uh, she picks categories of plush and does a deep dive. So definitely check her out as well. All right, so here is again that Canon Royal Family. This sold for $49.95. Here's your little tag in the corner. Um, so it's, you know, sewn on each side and kind of lifts up in the middle. Again, reversible, just really, really pretty. When you see them, they are going to pop out and hit you in the face. They are so beautiful. Um, this one here, same thing, sculpted. I think I need to add the word sculpted to my title. Um, so this is vintage Sears. So Sears was another one that came up a lot. So right here is what it looks like in the corner. So we've got Canon, we've got Sears, um, Martex, was that what mine was? And Fieldcrest right here is another one that just kept coming up over and over. And the ones that I'm showing you right now, I was able to verify with feedback. Now I'm gonna show you some others that I could not verify with feedback. But um, I do want to show them to you just so you know what to look for. I just feel like people maybe don't want to leave feedback that they're buying used towels. I don't know. It's really strange. Um, but this one sold for $69.99 plus shipping. This right here is another Canon Royal Family 7 Seas towel and uh, bath set. Here is your tag. $76. And this was a good sale. I checked the feedback. And then again, this one is Steven Utica right here. I mean, you guys are going to see these corner tags and you're going to know they're vintage. And you are you can just tell by the material and the look. They have a very distinct look. I mean, you can see it right here. This also was a good sale for $85 and free shipping on that one. This one is a 1960s, 70s vintage bath towel. Lot of five, green and white. This is just JCPenney's. This one is not as fancy, but the colors are fantastic. And I can totally see somebody wanting to rock these in their bathroom. And again, the tag's not as fancy, but definitely still vintage. This one right here, I love it. These are Terry Dish Towels, MCM, which is mid-century modern. These are Canon brand also. And these look like they're still in the original packaging with the, adv uh, the vintage advertising, which is really, really cool. And these sold for $97.49 plus shipping. This right here is that Martex, which is the same brand that I found. And these have a floral print to them. And it's a set. 
And this set sold for $99 plus shipping. These are um, Basana Italy bath towels, poodle polka dot. Now I'm guessing somebody is just has a poodle and is loving this print. They've got these little tassels. How fun is that? These sold for $95 and here's your little tag. So things with uh, characters or animals, different prints that may appeal to just a certain type of person that is looking for maybe that poodle. All right, this one, wow, field crest, vintage field crest, vibrant orange and green color. Now these are great because you're not gonna see the stains like you can see on mine, those would totally be covered. Here is the tag, again, field crest, $99.99 on those. And of course, always look for Lisa Frank. I did see some other towels for um, character towels. Uh, I don't know if it was, uh, we'll look here in a minute, but Lisa Frank is definitely, if you can find vintage Lisa Frank, and this was a good sale of $169.50 free shipping on that. So beach towels can also be good. This is Pierre Cardin. I also saw several of these. These are a bath beach towel. So they're kind of those bigger ones. And let me see if I can find um the really pretty look at that i was trying to find the little logo but they're not showing it here maybe it's just i don't know they've got it out by their pool who wants to go swimming anyway these sold for 244 dollars and 50 cents plus shipping all right so i'm going to take you back over to the original screen um hermes of course you guys if you don't know what Hermes is, it's a very high-end brand, scarves, towels, anything Hermes is going to be big money. Um, YSL, another one, definitely be on the lookout for. You can see right here, it's definitely a big money bolo. Here's another one that I kept seeing. Um, it's Marghab. I don't know if I'm saying that right. M-A-R-G-H-A-A-B. And I saw multiples of these that, um, oh, I just got a cha-ching have sold for uh, decent money, but I could not vi verify them with feedback, but there are high solds without any verification. So right now we're just kind of looking at some of the high solds. I showed you some of the ones that I verified. Here's another Hermes. Um, this is a vintage L.L. Bean, but again, none of these had feedback. So um, I don't know, who knows if they paid, you just, it's hard to tell. This is a vintage Bill Blass. But what it comes down to is you definitely, look at this bathrobe. You definitely want to be checking those estate sales for old vintage towels. Incredible, right? Canon. I keep seeing Canon. I always say this um, wrong. I don't know if it's Ives or Yives uh, or if I'm totally saying it wrong. I know Donatella Bottolino the other day. She's like, honey, you're saying that wrong. I'm like, I say everything wrong, Donna. It's okay. But anyway, it's something St. Laurent and it's YSL. So um, you guys can give me a little hint in the comments if you want. But definitely a brand I've sold before. Definitely a brand to look for. But um, the towels do really, really well. And this is what I was talking about, beach towels that say cute things or you know, the Lisa Frank, those are going to go for bigger money as well. Uh, this one right here just has this, uh, it's a pool towel, this interesting uh, print on it. Here's another Lisa Frank. Here's some more Canon, uh, just another interesting uh, beach towel, another Lisa Frank. So um, I'm sculpted again when you see that sculpted i need to add that to my title i think i think that's an important keyword here's more of that marghab or margahab i don't know how to say it but these look more like linens or like fancy towels you know hand towels like for the kitchen or something like that uh ralph lauren the bear definitely can be a bolo he's one to look for jaws so you can see here what's going on. It's you're seeing the same brands over and over. Fieldcrest, um, that Martex, even the Sears. The Sears seem to do really well. But your color combos are also going to be important. Uh, Copper tone. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Here's this one was probably relisted. Um, well, maybe. I think that's the same. I don't know. The shadowing's different. Maybe it's not the same. Sure looks the same, right? So you guys, that concludes my video. Field Crest again, Martex again. Ooh, that one has the original tags. 
Flower power is another thing that I see very often in these towels. Reversible, if it's reversible, put that in your title. Um, goosebumps, most goosebumps items are collectible. So there is some information for you guys. Again, go check out Rachel Strickland on YouTube. She is up to 11,000 subscribers. Her channel is growing like a weed. She is fantastic. But let me know in the comments, is uh, Vintage Towels something that you have ever purchased? Is it something that you think is kind of like, ew? I know somebody's like, gross, Vintage Towels. I'm like, you do stay at hotels, right? <laughs> because think about it, that's even grosser. Like if you buy Vintage Towels at a garage sale, Probably one person has used that towel. You go to a hotel, and if you really start thinking about it, it's kind of disgusting. But anyway, um, I know other people have been grossed out by silverware. Like, who would buy their silverware? Like, people eat off that. I'm like, do you go to restaurants? <laughs> but it's so funny because you don't think about those things until you think about it. Like, I'm not buying towels at a thrift store or forks, spoons at a thrift store. That's so nasty. <laughs> Oh my goodness, let me know if you're one of those people that kind of feels that way. But now you're enlightened and think, oh my gosh, I have stayed at a hotel and I have ate at a restaurant. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.